Hello everybody, this is The Frost. Um, today uh, a couple of people on uh, Steam and on YouTube uh, asked me um, what program do I use to uh, record uh, Conan at the moment and also um, how's the uh, setting tab doing in the game and things like that. So um, also the crafting menu I'm gonna show you guys. Um, first of all I try to record with uh, DX Story but I think it depends from uh, PC to PC but in my case um, I'm getting like a lot of um, pushback uh, what I mean like stuttering and things like that so I have to lower down the settings if I want to record with DX Story and don't forget I have a, like a 1070 GTX in my PC and I have a processor of like 1000 euro so um, Maybe it's a codec problem, I don't know, but at least the Xto is not working for me. So I am recording with Shadowplay at the moment. Now um, my settings um, is in the video tab. Let's uh, start off with the audio because I think you guys want to see everything. By the way, the uh, music, I'm going to bring it down because in the first episode um, it was not doable. I forgot to lower that down. So show subtitles, nothing special over here, so no uh, 5.1 or 7.1 um, surrounds, sounds. So full screen, you can uh, choose window, windowed full screen or just full screen. Now the resolutions, you can go up to this one, but I prefer on uh, 1920. Now the motion blur, yeah, I always uh, turn that off. I do use the V-Sync for now, but that's the thing. I did uh, bump up a little bit the uh, Yama. Now, this is where it gets interesting, because normally this I would pump it up, because it's on uh, 65 at the moment, so I have to remember that. But if I do it like this, and I do apply, and I go back out of the menu, it's it's... In my opinion, it's weird. It's, um, yeah, I played a little bit in the beginning like this, and it's making me a little bit nauseous. I don't know, um, but I had to bring that down again. Uh, let me do that very quick. So I keep playing on uh, 65, somewhere around there. So the uh, max FPS, uh, you can do it uncapped, which is a good thing. Uh, you can higher, lower it, uh, doesn't matter. Now graphics quality, now this is uh, still on the settings that I tried out with uh, DX Story, by the way. Normally I'm all the way on Ultra, um, but you can choose like a pre thing um, but yeah normally I play on this one uh, if I record with um, shadow play so not a lot of things you can change but um, the game is running smooth um, but if you guys want to record um, it's uh, if you didn't buy the game yet it's easy to see the settings before you buy I do gonna apply this very quick now the gameplay, you can choose the uh, language, of course. You have a wide variation of that. Nudity, this is like awesome. If you are a streamer or a YouTuber, um, you can choose what you want. So I turn it off. Show nameplates, that's good for a PvP server or like if you play with friends or things like that. You struggle to dodge. Um, show chat window, also very nice. Controls, now you can choose the uh, sensitivity of your mouse speeds. Um, you, can, you can do this for the controller as well. Uh, the key bindings, now I already told you guys, oh I died. I already told you guys in the uh, first episode I have like a profile problem, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I have like a profile problem with my keyboard. So uh, normally this is like one, two, three, God damn it. Give me some time to explain to the other guys. Yeah, you were killed by thirst. Very cool, thank you. Here we are. Settings. 
uh, let's go back to the control, no, key bindings. So I have like a profile uh, problem with my keyboard, so I did change it. Um, that's why you see the weird things in my hotbar. Uh, nothing special about that. Now, a lot of you guys uh, don't know this, but I always play with my keyboard, but I'm not using the W and the S and, and things like that. I always... Um, use my delete key for jumping my end key for crouch uh, sprint I always use the right shift and move forward I just use the arrows of course and like reloading a weapon I use the one on the numpad go to my inventory I use uh, number three on my numpad uh, talk in game I use number five normally uh, is there something else uh, yeah, the uh, map normally it's just the M. Um, that's about it. That's how I play all my games, by the way. Now server settings, um, just how you set it up. But it's nice that you can still change it if you are playing locally. Um, so you can tweak a little bit. Now I already told you guys I'm gonna go for the... Uh, hard experience in this one um, you guys saw that in the first episode but another thing uh, the day and night cycle uh, we are struggling with that because this is why I try to record with the extorting if I record with shadow play for example if I render it out I tried 4k I tried I tried everything all my uh, custom profiles for rendering I tried everything but if I upload it to YouTube and it's it's getting dark all my footage is way too dark it's it's yeah it's undoable actually and the first episode we had the same problem so i want to turn off the nighttime so nighttime speed 0 0.1 down dusk time speeds i'm gonna do this the same catch up time i don't know what that means but the day cycle speeds uh, hmm. daytime speeds and wait nighttime speed has to go up I think because it's the uh, mm -hmm. and the day cycle low so we have a, a very short night we have a very long day and to switch to night, it's gonna take a long time. I think this is uh, the setting that I want. Uh, maybe I'm wrong and I have to change it a couple of times. But um, now this is what you guys also didn't saw actually because I didn't use the footage when I created uh, the server, I think. But apparently, um, so we have pvp enabled but we are playing locally um i have no ownership um uh, can damage players yeah enable sandstorms we have we are a one-man army um the nudity is off of course now the xp rate and time and kill and harvest and craft and and things like that it's all on default i'm not gonna cheat i want to s to make it as hard as possible for me um, just because I want to learn the game as it is, because in the long run we're gonna play on multiplayer servers. Um, so we covered this already. Now the survival, it's like the cast multiplier, the thirst multiplier. I can sh all shut that down and, and make it so easy for me. But I'm not gonna spawn things in. I'm, I'm, if you're gonna see my base in like five weeks or something, it's all gonna be hard work um, just for you guys to know now the NPC respawner also on default but it's nice that they give you the option to tweak a little bit um, especially if you host the server with like a couple of friends and things like that um, but yeah the harvesting of course it's all on default crafting now the chats okay and now the region access control so you can choose with uh, what kind of players you want to play you don't want to play with Asian players you turn it off um, it's all up to you or 
but for us it doesn't matter because we are local now this is all the settings um, now if you remove your bracelets um, yeah it's game over then uh, yeah simply game over now clan you can make clan to play with friends and things like that okay oh hello I was not planning this <laughs> I have nothing to fight them. Oh my god. It's hard to make a tutor uh, tutorial around here or to show you guys a couple of things. But I do wanted to take this, a couple of stones, just to give you guys the example of the crafting menu. Is he gone? Yeah, I think he's gone. I do gonna stand in the open around here. So we have some time to run away. Okay. Now, this is the crafting menu. Now the blue things, it's all um, recipes. Okay, recipes that you can craft. Um, because, yeah, you guys can see this is from the first episode that I unlocked things. I'm not gonna level up right now because I'm gonna do that when I'm recording episode 2 after this tutorial. I mean, it's not really a tutorial, I'm showing you guys stuff. Um, but basically, um, if you want to craft like a stone pick, you have you need like five branches, five stones. It's like very easy to see. We have like five stones, but not enough branches. And then you simply click craft. Now, um, around here, this is our health. This is our stamina. This is um, thirst. And this is food. Leveling up. Now, as more you play, uh, you gain like points to um, give yourself some strength, agil uh, agility, uh, vitality, accuracy, grit, encumbrance or survival things. Um, it's all showing you what it means and things like that. So the um, learning recipes window, it's something like this. Now, if you want to learn the uh, torch, for example, Sometimes it's not only the torch you're gonna learn, in this case it is. But for example, if I want to learn this, it's gonna cost me only one to unlock all of these. So you can have like multiple unlockings and it's only costing you one. Because they're all connected in some way. So a lot of things in this game, you have like tables guys, you have like uh, accessoires, uh, you have chairs, um, it's things to hang on the wall, you can make so many things in this game, it's unbelievable, um, it's, it's crazy. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys this in a quick separate video, so yeah. If you have questions, please ask. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start on episode 2. See you guys. Bye.